Hi, uh, my name is Mandy Sisindo. Um, I did or engaged with a reading uh, applied art is still art uh, by Lynn Dalrymple. Um, I think firstly I will uh, talk about uh, the guiding principles that I have noted within uh, the text itself. Um, the first one is art functions as a mirror of the world. You understand? So art is that thing the, like even theater itself it tells stories that are happening within the world or reflects what is happening around the world and art affects our perspective of life we understand and art um uh, uh the play uh is not meant to to be beautiful so that's another thing that i have captured within uh the text itself that the play is not meant to be beautiful and that drama represents uh, a reality so there were so many of them uh, one of them also is art is to elicit a response from the audience or create an aesthetic experience yeah but, and the play cannot affect our uh, and can sorry and the play can affect our perspective of life and the last one is that applied theater is a transformative agent so lean um um, is a white woman of course and she uh, was a uh, English uh, teacher the English department was Zululand and the University of Zululand and also the university what was interesting was the fact that when she came it was a Zulu speaking university only yeah, but she came through to teach English within the university itself so while she was in a process of teaching this English um, there were there were there were meetings that were held where she needed to pick up some novels that she is about to teach and these novels were recommended by the deans and the professors uh, who employed her so what was interesting was the fact for her is the fact that when she got all of these 10 novels, none of these novels were coming from African writers. They were all coming from Western side of writing or writers. And it was quite very interesting for her. Okay, to cut the long story short, immediately after that, um, Rosa Albert applied to be part or to perform on the on, on, on campus, you understand, in this very same university. And one of the professors who was in charge of everything that needs to be happen um, happening within the university declined the application of Rosa Albert because the professor said Rosa Albert is not at but propaganda or pushes propaganda and that is what made her to be interested when i read this made her to be interested to write this article because everything um from every topic that she speaks about she brings in was albert we understand she wanted to understand why was albert is not art because in a perspective of the professor art has to be beautiful and according to her Art does not have to be beautiful. Art must provoke. Ma art, art, it must bring out activism. We understand? It must be able to heal. It must be able to inspire. But it must be able to open up conversations and let the audience witness. Let the audience uh, confront. Let the audience be able to deconstruct their minds. Even if they thought this thing. But what about what we saw from Rosa Albert? We understand? Because o Rosa Albert also, it's about dreams. It's about the future. According to her, it's about what black people desired, what black people wanted to see. It's about the change. We understand that she wanted, um, Rosa Albert wanted to see. She speaks about what is pure art then. We understand? What is pure art? But also let us understand applied art. What is applied? We understand. So those are the things that she, she, she tries her best to, to speak about on this paper. Um, she speaks of what is applied first before we say what is applied art. She said applied is putting to practical use. So you are taking something and you are putting it to what? To practical use. And then what is art? It's a creation of beauty or thought-provoking product with no practical use. You understand? So, now, how do you image this? But that's why I always have a problem um, with applied art. Because most of the people, when you speak about applied art, or I'm doing art, 
they might think that you are doing visual arts. You understand? They, oh, you draw. You're like, no, I'm doing applied art. I'm a theater maker. Oh, you're doing theater. Hence, for me, I believe and I feel like it needs to be called applied performance art because there is a performativity that is there is a performance now that it takes place because once you speak about performance you are speaking about doing you understand than just drawing and then the drawing is here and then that could be applied art but i think what she means about with no practical use there is no there is a practical while you are drawing but at the same time the product itself you understand it is something that is just there but it doesn't you understand it engages the body it's not quite very much embodied and also what i uh, what is interesting about here is the fact that she was not only interested in just teaching art but also how do we now take it to schools using die and using tie that's when she also, during the time where HIV and AIDS evolved, she was doing plays in schools about HIV and AIDS and how young people um, must be able uh, 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 to, to, to condomize, you understand, in order for them to prevent themselves from getting HIV and AIDS. And she says that, you know, what we need to understand is that art, it goes with age. It goes with time. We understand. So we are not going to be stuck in that time but what do we do when time evolves now it's 2023 how is our art in 2023 what are the things that we deal with in 2023 how do we make pieces under gender-based violence we understand how do we make peace about COVID-19 how do we make peace uh, plays about things that affect us right now and she speaks about aesthetics you understand which most of the people that's what makes them to be inspired when they go um uh, to see plays especially in the mainstream the visuals the beauty you understand but Waza albert was quite different because it used jesse Khrotowski's, uh, 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 uh poor theater where there was just crates a rail with clothes that kind of a piece could be taken anywhere and it could be taken everywhere. So this, for me, it, it spoke to me in so many ways because that is the theater that I am used to even before I knew about mainstream theater. So the text itself, it quite very much inspired me. Hence, she was saying in the 20th century, Brecht and Boal, they began to say that the people need to take away art and culture from being bourgeoisie. You understand? It needs it it needs to be something that can happen spontaneously anywhere, so that it creates what it creates dialogue. It makes people to critically think. We understand. So now, when you are, because when you go to theater, you're already prepared that you are going to watch something and you are going to speak about something. Uh, before I close, um, something that was also quite very interesting is how she spoke about what is applied theater she said applied theater used um as a term for social intervention and policy direction uh informed by drama theater and theater methodologies Niana says, so applied theater it is an intervention you can take it to you can take it to the clinic you can take it to school you can, it's an intervention and it's a direction that helps it uses theater methodologies or forms or theater structures within it to go to uh, in different directions or in different spaces and she said also applied theater uses power of theater form to address something beyond the form itself it raises awareness to better the world you cannot better the world in a confined space you can only better the world if you are able to maneuver you understand, and go to different spaces hence in applied drama and theater it could take place in any space it could take place under the tree it could take place in the street it could take place like in a bus terminus or anywhere so you are able now um it, it is beyond just theater it is beyond just theater but it raises awareness in different spaces to better the world and lastly she said that um applied theater experiences and interrogations of possibilities so it's about experiences but also interrogation of possibilities how do we now put this work together but what are the possibilities that we are bringing within the audience and also what are the possibilities that we are bringing in us as performers and it enables communities to grasp with issues related to identity 
social change, human development, and healing, which is, I believe, that's what Lynn wanted to do when she was quite very much interested for Waza Albert to come to the university so that those learners are inspired, they are healed, and also their minds are changed as the students. So thank you very much. It was quite a very, very, very applied art. It is still art. It must not be seen as something different from being art. And art, it does not have to be beautiful. It needs to confront, showcase, bring awareness, and be able for people to have dialogue and critically think. Thank you.